Greetings, Cabot Cove Clubbers! Hi! Um, when I made Angela Lansbury's kitchen sink salad, <laughs> I promised that I would show you how she makes her mustard vinaigrette. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. It's very simple, but it comes with a warning. Yes, a very severe warning. Uh, the vinaigrette recipe is originally from Angela Lansbury's Positive Moves book. It is in the Murder She Cookbook too, but I think there's a typo in the recipe in the Positive Moves book. Shocking, I know, but I will explain. <laughs> okay, so vinaigrette. I, I always used to think, oh, I can't do salad dressings. And whenever my friend Kathy comes around, I get her to make the salad dressing because she's really good at it. Uh, but now, now I've perfected, I think, Angela's recipe, then, yeah, I'm happy to make vinaigrette. And it's such an easy thing to do. And this vinaigrette lasts for ages in the fridge. So it makes quite a lot, the recipe, but you can just keep it in your fridge and every time you have a salad, just bung some on. <laughs> And you'll be like living like Angela. Uh, so the start with to start with the first ingredient in the Positive News book is two and a half teaspoons of balsamic or red wine vinegar. I've got balsamic, but I think it should be two and a half tablespoons, not teaspoons. Um, the first time I made it, the dressing was so oily. And I just had to keep adding and adding and adding vinegar to make it into the right sort of consistency for a dressing. So I have deduced by lots of Googling and research about the ratios, you know, correct ratios for salad dressing, that it makes much more sense if it's two and a half tablespoons to half a cup of, of olive oil, half a cup, half a cup, it's hard to say, half a cup of olive oil which is, if you're not a cup measuring type person, about 100 millilitres. So I'm making it with two and a half tablespoons of balsamic, um, a quarter of a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. There was a bit of drama here in Europe, anyway, recently, when somebody, well, it was announced that Dijon mustard was in short supply. <laughs> It was like the good old days of the pandemic where everyone was rushing out trying to buy toilet paper. Everyone was rushing out, well, I was, stocking up on Dijon mustard because, mm, A, it's delicious. B, it's in Angela Lansbury's vinaigrette, so you've got to have it. Two and a half tablespoons of balsamic or red wine vinegar, quarter of a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, half a clove of minced garlic. I always use my garlic crusher you if you're if you're a good cook you might you know you mince it chop it really really finely squash your garlic clove I've, that's that's how the professional chefs do it isn't it but you know i like contraptions so i've got my garlic press half a clove of minced garlic pepper to taste well i am very liberal with pepper on everything because i love it but you know pepper to taste and then you whisk all of those ingredients together. I've got a little cute little whisk. You could make this in a jam jar. And in fact, that's what I usually do when I make salad dressings. I just put it all in a jam jar and then you can just shake it up. But because Angela is specific about this method, I'm going to do it as per her method so I can show you how she made it. So you've got your vinegar, your mustard, your garlic, and a bit of pepper. And then you slowly pour in the oil until everything is blended. So I've got my oil measured out in my half a cup measure. So here in the UK, we don't use cup measurements. We use millilitres for things like oil. But if you're making a lot of American recipes, like I do, it's good to get yourself a set, set of measuring cups because sometimes it's just easier than weighing things. So, yeah, you can get you can get sets of measuring cups pretty cheaply and 
kitchen supply shops or on the internet of course where a lot of us get everything these days but no go to your local nice kitchen shop watch out because you'll want to spend a lot of money <laughs> whenever you go in a kitchen shop you're like oh that's an interesting device i'm sure i could get some use out of that I i'm terrible i'm always buying things in there that i never use <laughs> but you know who knows when you might need something come in handy right so there we go i've added it I'm whisking it up you know that still looks a bit too oily for me but you can add more vinegar it's different people like different ratios i mean i have seen lately people doing half and half for a vinaigrette so let's have a little I'll just dip my little finger in all right still, still a bit oily so i'm going to add a bit more vinegar until it gets to the sort of i do like vinegary things though so you might like it with less vinegar but i've added a bit more there so yeah add vinegar to taste i would say you may have it it's quite a dark color because i use balsamic red wine vinegar would be a similar sort of color a bit bit redder i suppose and there you have it your angela lansbury vinaigrette as i say lasts forever not well, not forever in your fridge you could put a bit more Dijon mustard in it if you like. So just carry on tasting it until it's to your taste. But definitely two and a half teaspoons, nowhere near enough. So whoever was responsible for <laughs> making that little typo and positive moves, well, hopefully uh, people will have worked it out for themselves <laughs> when their dressing was so oily, they could barely eat it. Uh, I hope you will make Angela Lansbury's dressing. Once you've perfected it and made it to exactly how you like it, then you can just write it down on a piece of paper, the, the proportions that you like. Um, yeah, send me a photo if you have the salad with some of Angela's dressing on it. I'd love to see your photos. I, it makes my day. If someone sends me an email with a photo of something they've made from the Murder She Cookbook, I'm just thrilled tell you so enjoy your salads enjoy your salad dressings this is nice on any old salad it's a very classic vinaigrette so uh enjoy that my friends and uh see you again soon i don't know what recipe i'll be making next of angela's mm, maybe the garden soup maybe the pasta with the tomato sauce i don't know uh but i'm gonna d demonstrate all of the angela lansbury recipes on these videos but maybe not the one with oysters in <laughs> all right my lovelies see you again soon bye